Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here and I wanted to pop on and talk about anxiety and hormones and the correlation between the two of them. Now, okay, um, when we're looking at this, one thing I want you to know is that when we're looking at uh, hormones overall, the best thing to do, the best test to get is the Dutch test. So I'm going to put a link right here for the Dutch test right in the comments. There you go. If you have not gotten a Dutch or if you don't know what it is about, check out that link because we get a comprehensive look at what your hormones are doing every step of the way. So this is really fun to get. I'll explain more about this in just a minute. But one of the things that a lot of women uh, notice is that your anxiety or your feelings right, can change throughout the month. And that's because you have different bodies that you live in throughout the month, right? So you, you have four different bodies throughout the month, right? Looking at, oh, I didn't even put the <laughs> day one, day 14, day 28 throughout the month, right? The blue here, that's the estrogen phase, right? So the day one is the first day of your period and that rises here. Day 14, this is about when you ovulate, right? Ovulate. Sorry, I try to draw this out beforehand because I sometimes have sloppy handwriting. But after ovulation, right, progesterone is supposed to rise and estrogen drops. Now, you're like, what? Both of them say low. How can you have both be low? You can, and it can actually cause more issues with anxiety. So for some women, they re realize and they notice, oh my gosh, I started tracking. And this is really helpful. If you have not tracked, if you do not track, start tracking. Start tracking how you're doing week to week throughout the month. This is going to give you so much information about how your body's doing and where to focus your energy. Where to focus. What you're doing, how you're eating, how you're hydrating, all these things. I mean, I have, I mean, books on this. So my book, The Female Fat Solution, this is on Amazon. Um, this talks about nutrition that matches your hormones and your cycle. Mm -hmm. How to focus there. Uh, a whole book for the uh, women in menopause, The Female Menopause Solution. This is also on Amazon. Again, great resources to learn even more about your entire lifestyle correlating with the month, right? Your hormones. But one of the things here that we look at is, okay, let's say that estrogen is lower here overall. You're not getting that rise, that spike, that oomph, and everything that comes along with it. That can create anxiety issues right here before you even ovulate. So if you're tracking and you realize this, you might notice, okay, that could be me. Maybe it's an issue with my estrogens. Maybe it's an issue with how your body's processing estrogens, right? When you know more information about how your body's working and functioning or the correlation of when things are happening, you are so much better prepared to take steps to deal with it versus saying, yeah, I don't know, sometimes I feel great and sometimes I have more anxiety and I don't know why or I don't know when or anything else, right? But start tracking, start tracking so you can realize, oh my gosh, yes, it's here. Or say, you know what, first couple of weeks of my cycle, it's great. After I ovulate, my anxiety gets way worse. I get tired, I get fatigued, I just don't feel good, my digestive system is, you know, so yeah, I get more anxiety here during my cycle. That gives you so much more information to say, oh my gosh, it could be the progesterone that's assisting with this, right? I'm not gonna say that this is like, oh, it's all this or all this, right? No, of course not, right? It's never just one thing. Your health is cumulative. Everything is cumulative for you, right? Systems are connected together. But if your hormones are off, it's not helping any, right? It's going to be like putting gasoline on a fire. <sighs> yeah. So that's the tough thing with this is that if you are really struggling and you don't know when, then you're kind of lost in the dark. But if you figure out, oh my gosh, yes, it's right here. It's during this phase of my cycle, kind of right in here. This is the time frame where I really have the worst anxiety. You know, let's say days, you know, 19 to... 26, I'm just making this up, right? That's when your anxiety is the worst. That gives you a lot of really good information. That lets you know, oh yeah, my progesterone probably isn't doing the right thing here. My estrogen's probably okay, but it might be my progesterone. I might need to look at doing something like that. Let me try seed cycling. Let me try adding more adaptogens, adding more minerals, whatever it is to help your system function better at that point to try and help any anxiety symptoms that you may be having. Again, there's going to be other factors at play here. Stressors play a huge factor. Sleep plays a huge factor. All these other things, right? Neurotransmitters. So speaking of which, speaking of which, one of my favorite things here about the Dutch test, not only do we test specific estrogens, progesterones, testosterones, cortisols, right? All these other things. We also get to look at nutrient levels and neurotransmitter levels. 
fascinating, right? Your dopamine levels. We see that. We see that. Yeah. Yeah. So if you have a dopamine issue and you have a progesterone issue, can that tr both of those things together trigger your anxiety even worse right here? Yes. Yes. So that's going to be really helpful to know that information to say, okay, here's what I can do to help this anxiety. Here's what I can do to help myself feel, function better so I feel better. And then moving forward from there, you can really do a lot to help continue to get results with your body. A lot of women feel like, oh, I feel really good during one part of my cycle. And then during the other part of my cycle, I don't feel good. I can't keep going to the gym. I don't make it there. I don't sleep well. I feel like I lose fat, then gain fat or lose weight. You know, make progress, don't make progress. Oh, right. This is what this frustrating thing for women is. And we, listen, we live in four different bodies. So with all this in mind, you know, you have to track more, you have to learn more, you have to know more about your own biometrics to keep moving forward with this. And all of these things, of course, anxiety can shift and change throughout the month with your hormones, with your neurotransmitters. And if you have more than one thing contributing, it can add on to the impact that your body feels, right? Yeah, so it's not just like you, you're not just making it up because that's the thing that you feel like, Sometimes I just, you know, I do great. And sometimes I feel like I get anxiety over going to the store and regular activities. What is wrong with me? There's nothing wrong with you, right? You could be at a different phase of the month for where your cycle is. And that adds to the other issues that you are struggling with internally. Like, like um, again, nutrient levels, neurotransmitters, things like that. Other fascinating thing too, neurotransmitter levels. So when we're talking about serotonins, dopamines, everything else, if your body is nutrient depleted, if you don't have some magnesiums, B vitamins, other nutrients, stuff like that, it also adds to that problem. Yeah, yeah. So it's really hard to sort of get ahead of this on your own without having the right information, right? So of course, there's a link there in the comments if you wanna look at getting a Dutch test, right? If you wanna look and see where your hormone levels are at, because this is so helpful to keep moving forward. But I mean, if not, again, my mission is just to educate women on how your bodies function so that you can take steps forward and wherever you're at and just track, track. Keep a journal every day. Here's where my cycle is, here's where my hormones are, and here's where my anxiety levels have been. You're gonna be shocked at what you learn about how your body functions. So, all right, that's what I got for you guys today. Please let me know if you have any questions. Please let me know if anything about this is uncertain. But I wanted to talk about this because there's a lot of women that have anxiety issues that get worse or get better during certain times of the month. And it's not in your head, it's a real thing. And oftentimes getting a Dutch test can narrow down exactly what the cause is. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, I'll see you later.